Hey guys, so I wanted to get on here quickly to give you guys a quick update on the latest iOS 18.1. Apple has just released a new beta, iOS 18.1. Developer Beta 7 is now officially out. Now this one basically confirms the release schedule moving forward and I did expect the RC to be released but there's a few things to talk about and I wanted to sort of get on here to share some of the last details in regards to iOS 18.1. Now the first thing to note is that this beta is only about 500 megabytes of a download if you're updating from beta 6 to beta 7 and there's two things to note. Let's take a look here in settings general let's go into the about section and the iOS version take a look at the current build number right there ending with the letter A now typically when we see the letter A towards the end of the build number we see the RC following after that in this case we've gotten two updates back to back with the letter A towards the end of the build number. So for that reason, I believe the next beta will be RC. Now take a look at beta six. That is the build number for beta six, ending on the letter A as I mentioned, and this is today's ending on the letter A as well. So at this point, Apple is just basically patching some last minute under the hood, perhaps code within the software, no changes whatsoever with this one. But as I mentioned, this one basically confirms the schedule that we previously talked about. So we're expecting iOS 18.1 to be released on Monday, October the 28th. So now with beta seven being available today, on Monday, October the 14th. This means that next week, I'm pretty sure I'm about 99% sure that next week on the week of the 21st, we'll see iOS 18.1 RC, the release candidate, and then the following week on the Monday, just as Mark Gurman previously predicted, Apple will release iOS 18.1 to everyone worldwide. Now, this beta doesn't really change anything or even fix any bugs. Remember the bug I talked about where the actual toggle right there for the satellite turns into a blue rectangle? Look, it's still there. So, there's still a bug here within the latest beta. As you can see right there, that is my toggle for the actual satellite. Take a look at that. Sometimes it just disappears altogether as well. So I haven't noticed anything other than the build number changing here with the latest beta. But again, this one basically confirming beta 7 available today on Monday. Next week, expect the RC again, perhaps on Monday the 21st and then the 28th. We should see iOS 18.1 officially released to the general public with Apple intelligence because I know many iPhone users are looking forward to the Apple intelligence. Right there it is. So this one's coming soon to iPhone users. iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, 16 and 16 Pro. A lot to talk about here as well. So stay tuned here to the channel, of course. Again, a quick video just giving you guys a quick follow-up on the release schedule. And basically, nothing has changed with this beta. Just simply, perhaps, under the hood improvements. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.